She is the country's most successful female cyclist and one with a bright future. Tonight, Kent Fuentes speaks with three-time CAC medalist Tanil Campbell. Tanil's 2018 cycling calendar started with her dominating at home, both on the road and on the track, before she stepped it up and won two bronze and a gold medal at the CAC Games. Successful for most the young athletes, but for her, there's still room for improvement. Um, it's been pretty good, I guess. I mean, I haven't achieved all that I wanted, and there's still a couple months left in the season, so I'm looking forward to having more wins, hopefully. <laughs> and yeah, that will be really good to end it off. The young cyclist said she was happy with the experience she had at both the CAC Games and the Tour of Norway. I didn't really get the color medals I wanted, but I mean, it's still, it's still good seeing that I've really accomplished a lot for Trinidad and Tobago, which was one of the main things I wanted to do. So that was good. Um, the World Tour in Norway, it was... It was really, really, really challenging and I love every moment of it and I'm looking forward to more scenes on the World Tour level and hopefully I get signed next year. Tenille believes that with the renewed confidence she has, she will continue to improve as a cyclist. I don't really think I'm that far off, maybe in terms of fitness as these girls race a lot th throughout the year and at that high intensity. And, I mean, the tr transition from class 1s and 2s into the world tour level is a kind of big difference because, I mean, everyone at the world tour level is really strong <laughs> and it's really fast and it's really hard for the entirety. And the girls, they are more aggressive and all of them have a lot of bike handling skills, so... Her next phase of training at the UCI Center in Switzerland will see her compete in more races across Europe against some of the best riders in the world. Kent Fuentes, TTT Sports.